Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see we will see about the update and also find the conditions, the filters, what we can use it, and also about the inset one and inset many commands. We'll try to see it a little bit further. Okay, a little bit deeper. So first one, what is that one is? So here I am inserting. So I am I am again creating these categories db dot categories dot for inserting what we will do insert one and we'll try to give the json object so that is nothing but title so it is something like category one i can give and the description is nothing but category description i can use something like category description one also i can do and last one is product count so how many products are there under this category product count i can give something like product count of Four, let's assume so this is the thing we have created and an idea is also created for this one so here if i try to see db dot find of db dot categories dot find dot pretty so if we try to use this pretty and here we are able to see a new document has been created under the categories collection now what i want to do is so here we have inserted only one so now if i want to insert multiple categories so how can you do it so we have a command that is nothing but insert many so insert many will take the array of categories and it will try to insert it at a time so let's try to see this one so now we need to prepare an object for this one let's try to create let's try to create an array of object categories and we'll try to insert it in this one using the insert many command so here i am creating array and in this array you will be having something like title I can use something like category 2 and we can have a description and I can do something like category description 2 and the last one is product count product count right so product count I can make it so something like 10 let's try it so I am inserting another one okay another one the same name category 3 so I'll be having category 3 and the category description 3. The product count will be something around 50. So this is these are the multiple products, sorry, categories. And now I want to insert these categories at a time. So what can I do is let's go here. So I, I told you right, we have a command that is nothing but db dot categories dot insert one instead of using this insert one we can use insert many so just like how we have update many and also delete many in the same scenario we have insert many and here we can give the array of these all objects so now here i am using category 2 and category 3 so now i am pressing uh, i am pressing enter so now here the two objects has been inserted uh, two categories has been inserted and here you will be able to see the unique id for these two categories now let's try to see db dot categories dot finder pretty if i try to see here so we are able to see category 1 category 2 and category 3 the three documents has been created from the categories collection this is how we will be inserting the multiple documents in a collection now let's say that so we know that we how we can find this one so db dot categories dot find dot pretty so it will give you all the documents that are available in the collection now if you want to get only one so what i can do db dot categories dot find one i can use this find one so that it will return you the first document that has is present in the categories collection that is nothing but the category one okay so i can also add some conditions in a such a way that so find one here i can use something like title which is having category two so if i use this condition now i am able to get the document which is having title of category two so like this i can do it and also we can add uh, we can add some conditions in a such a way that we can use the less than greater than symbol also for example let's say that we are having product count 4 10 and 50 right so i want to get the categories which are having product count less than 11 or less than 15 so how can i write this one is for example db dot categories dot find and i can use something like product count okay so product count again i need to use something like this and i can use the less than operator dollar lt it should be less than 15 now if i try to press enter 
or otherwise you can use the dot pretty so now you'll be able to see the two documents has been written that is nothing but which are having product 10 and 4 if i try to use something like greater than 15 so we have we'll get only one product that is nothing but greater than 15 that is nothing but 50 so for example let's say that if you want to use less than or equal less than 10 so if i try to use less than 10 now i will get only one record why because so we are having record another product count exactly equal to 10 so if i want to use less than or equal to means how can i use this here i can use something like less than or equal to so now i am able to get the product count so if i want to use something like product count greater than 50 so now i will be getting sorry less than 15 less than 50 okay or otherwise something like greater than 4 let's try to use greater than 4 i will get 10 and 50 so 4 for product count 4 is not uh, coming why because it is just less equal to <coughs> equal not greater than equal to 4 so what i can do here instead of using that one so what i can do is here instead of using greater than or equal to 4 okay here what i will be able to get 4 10 and 50 so this is how we can add the conditions in this one so this is how we can add the conditions so and not only in the find you can also use the find one so that it will get only one record find will return you all the records so that is the difference between the find and find one and greater than less than is you will be using like this now let's try to see the another commands that is nothing but update commands so these update commands are also one of the important thing for example let's say that db dot categories dot find so you are having dot pretty okay so now i want to update the data which is having uh, less than 11 or 15 i want to update the uh, product count to 25 so if i want to update like this so what i can do db dot categories dot update many so we have already seen about this command so now first one is the condition so product count so which is having less than or equal to 15 okay product count less than or equal to i need to use the dollar so less than or equal to 15 so here i can use something like so dollar set and i want to update product count to product count to 45 so they, it has found matched two two documents has been matched and these are also modified so if i try to use the same thing find pretty now these two documents has been updated to 45 okay so if a same thing if i want to use something like so here the same thing less than or equal to 45 okay instead of using update many if i try to use update one now what will happen so dollar set oh this one is changed right so product count we'll try to use this product count so now so less than or equal to 45 if i try to use less than or equal to 45 means so then what will happen so if i try to use this update one if you try to see here we are having product count and product count right capital we have used it so it was wrong so let's try to use it like this only product count less than 45 means so product count less than or equal to 45 so this one is less than or equal to and this one is also less than or equal to but the first document which will appear in the collection it will be updated so let's try to uh, use let's try to press enter yeah i have pressed enter now only one document so if i try to use this one so here see only this document has got update but this one is also match but we are using only update one because of this reason so this this one is not getting updated we have also another command that is nothing but update command so for example let's try to see that instead of using this update one i can use this update command so product less than or equal to 45 update it to something around 10 okay so if i try to use this one so let's see what will happen so i have updated here so matched one and modified one so if i try to use this pretty so now we are able to see 10 10 also has been updated so that means update and update many works as the same but now see what is the difference between this update and update many is so for example let's say that instead of using this dollar set i am removing this dollar set okay and now i'll update that product less than or equal to product count less than or equal to or otherwise i will reduce Z, capital zero see capital o so that this for these two will change so product count less than or equal to 45 i want to update it to product count of something around 20 okay so something around 20 so let's try to update it to 20 now let's see that so now that means these two product counts has to be updated to 
20. Now that is the condition we have written, right? So let's try to update it. Okay. So now if I try to you if I try to see the output, see now if I try to see the output, update command has only updated the first one. And also if you try to see the object is entirely has been changed. Now what does this update command will do is instead of updating the only the product count, it will overwrite these all the object. Okay, the title description and all those things. But here the number will not change. The ID will not change. It will update this title description and all those things. It will override and use only the product count if you don't use this dollar set command. So this is the only object it will be updated. So that is the reason you need to understand the difference between update, update one and update mini. Update one and update mini. So it will not give you if, if you try to use the same command with the update one, it will throw you an error. Okay. So it will tell you that we need to use some atomic operator that is nothing but operators dollar set operator. If you try to use same thing for this update mini also, it will throw you an error that it we need to use the dollar set. But whereas the update, it will not throw any error and it will directly override all the object all the object that is present in this document. So now what I want to do is, so don't you no I, I cannot say, so now we have an another command, replace one. So if you want to replace the entire object, so we have a command, something like replace. So for example, db dot categories dot find, let's try to find dot pretty. Okay, so let's try to take this one. So let's try to copy this object. So for this object, I want to update, where this one gone? Let's try to get it again. I am trying to open this one again. Mongo.exe, right? So I am trying to open. Okay, fine. Here, let's try to show dbs. I want to go use leela underscore e commerce. Okay. So show collections. Categories is there, right? db dot categories db dot categories dot find dot pretty i can use this pretty command so now we are having this product count right so now i want to update this one so i can copy this object okay copy this object so now i want to update this one so for example let's say that um, db dot categories dot so we have a command something like replace one and which is having underscore uh, sorry underscore id of so you can paste it here directly that object okay so we which is having an idea of object so we need to come we need to paste entire we using the object ID, complete object ID. we need to paste it so here i can use something like title and i can use category one okay i am trying to replace it so description category two so sorry um, category description okay i can use category description one and i can use another one is product count product count of 20 so let's try to press enter that's it so now if i try to see finder pretty now again i am able to get the category one description product count so now again i have mistakenly written this uh, uh, o as capital so but now you understood the underlying fundamentals right so update and replace one are one the same if you want to use the if you want to replace the entire object use the replace one and update one and update many only updates the object it will not override the complete document so it will it will update the fields in the document so this is all about the different types of commands that are available so now in this video we have learned about the insert one insert many update one update many update and replace one so like this we have learned about insert one insert many update one update many update and replace one so find find one greater than less than so we have, we have also used greater than or equal to so less than or equal to we have learned these all the comments hope you understood these all the comments if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you